Hi, this is Miss Nook, your science teacher, and I'm here to talk to you about Lab 5.05, .05, Part 2, the part where it actually asks you to make a barometer and keep track of barometric pressure, pressure for a week. What I have done is I have taken a jar and I have secured a rubber glove over the mouth of the jar with a rubber band. In the lab instructions, it tells you to uh, use a balloon, but I don't have a balloon, so I'm improvising with a rubber glove. Next, you're going to take a straw and glue it to the middle of your balloon. I don't have any glue, so I'm going to use some scotch tape. And secure it right in the middle of my balloon. Next, it says to get a needle and insert it, secure it to the end of the straw. I don't have a needle, but I have a piece of paper that I've cut into a triangle. I'm just going to fold that up and insert it like so. So I have that pointy end right there that will be used as my pointer. That's it. That's the barometer. A jar or a glass with an opening a balloon or a rubber glove secured across the top with a rubber band nice and tight, a straw glued or taped securely to the center of your balloon, and a needle or some other pointy thing like a piece of paper that's cut into a triangle at the end to use as a pointer. The only other thing I have to do is get a piece of paper, tape it up against the wall, and put my barometer right there wherever the barometer meets the paper I'm going to make a line and I'm going to continue making observations every now and then uh, throughout the day tomorrow I'll come back around the same time and take a look at my barometer and see if it's moved up or down the key to this the reason that this works is when air pressure is high it is increasing and it's going to push down on the balloon ever so slightly and it's going to raise the pointer. If, low, if the air pressure is low, if a storm is moving in, for example, the air pressure on the outside of the jar is going to be less than the air pressure on the inside of the jar. And the pressure on the inside of the jar is actually going to raise this end of the straw, which will in turn lower the needle. Feel free to take measurements as often as you'd like, but you do need to take them for a week and record them in your data table in part two of Lab 5.05. Thanks!